If you're thinking of moving to Portland, Oregon and Lake Oswego is top on your list, you're gonna wanna check out this video. Today, we're gonna talk about the top reason that I moved to Portland, Oregon. Hey everybody, my name is Aaron Collin. I'm a local real estate agent right here in Lake Oswego. Now we're in the neighborhood of Westridge, one of my favorite neighborhoods and right next to where I live in the Palisades. This is a really cool, neat little area. There's a trailhead right down there that I try to go to whenever possible. It's walking distance to my house and that's one of the things I love about living here is there's so many great places to walk to. And I'm not talking about shops, but I'm talking about trails and nature and just walking around the neighborhoods. If you guys are thinking about moving to Portland, Oregon or Lake Oswego, go ahead and reach out, give me a call. I'd be happy to chat with you guys a little bit further and give you some more nuanced information and answer any of those specific questions. All right, let's get into it. Today we're talking about the top reason that I moved to Lake Oswego. I'm gonna to try to really whittle it down to one major thing. And if I had to say, what was that one thing, that one reason why I moved to this town, the suburb of Portland, Oregon, I would have to say, because of the natural beauty that it had. And yes, I mean, just from walking around here, you can see from some of this B-roll that I've shot, just from living here, I mean, it is a beautiful, beautiful area. Lake Oswego is its own city. We have its, our own mayor, city council, police, fire department. All our own services are right here in Lake Oswego. It's its own town but we're in the greater Portland area, and it is one of the closest suburbs to downtown Portland. So it's only about a 15 minute drive. You go right up the 43, and you could take advantage of everything Portland has to offer, and I love that. And being in the business that I am in real estate, I'm traveling all over the Portland area, and especially to downtown. So it's still really central to anywhere you wanna go in Portland it's not gonna to be too crazy of a drive. If you start getting a little further south, say into Wilsonville and that area, you know, you're gonna be tacking on another 10 minutes, you know, up down the five, which still isn't bad, but if you're looking to be able to commute, say to downtown, or having to drive all around Portland, Lake Oswego is a great jumping off point. Now I know the average price here in Lake Oswego hovers right around a million dollars, but with that being said, if you wanna live in this town, you definitely, definitely can. You might just have to give up, say, on the size of your house. Now they have townhomes that are in the $450,000 range on up, that are three bed, two bath. They're gonna have a tiny little patio area, but it will have some outdoor area, but there's also gonna be some community areas nearby. And that's one of the great things about being in Lake Oswego is there's so many parks and green spaces all around so many trees the city has an ordinance protecting the trees here some say they go a little too far over with that and that could be the case but for the most part you get to enjoy the benefits of that with there being so much tree cover you know if i pull up the maps here you can really get a sense look i mean look how green that is on the map compared to other parts of portland especially in the northeast and the southeast of portland and because of certain city ordinances like that, that is one of the things that keeps it so beautiful here. With the higher cost of living here, because of the housing, you do get that higher pride of ownership here as well. So people do take care of their lawns. There's lots of manicuring going on. A lot of people do hire out people to take care of the lawns, but you know, not everybody. It's not like most people do it, like in some places like in Los Angeles, where nobody takes care of their own lawn. But here you do have a lot bigger lawns so I see people outside all the time taking care of their maintenance. What I do is kind of a spot strategy where I'll hire a lawn maintenance person to come out for a few months throughout the year, like when the leaves are falling off the trees for a few months there, because if you have a big lot and a ton of trees, which I do, it can get a little overwhelming, especially if you have little kids and you're running a small business, but then you can put that on pause for the rest of the year when there's not as much yard maintenance. One of the other things that makes it so beautiful here is there is a lake right in the center of Lake Oswego. So even if you don't have access to the lake or don't live on the lake, you know, there's only about a thousand homes on the actual lake. So most people don't have direct lake access except through one of the two parks that they have here, 
which are very seasonal in the summertime that are open. But there's still lots of trails and viewpoints around the lake that you're gonna see possibly on a daily basis, depending on where you live, and different roads like I drive, taking my kids to school around the lake every day you get to see the lake and I mean it's just gorgeous sunrises on the lake or sunsets I mean it is really pretty so that just adds to the beauty of the area is seeing that lake seeing the water and you do have access to it in the summertime when the swim parks are open another thing adding to the beauty is it's very hilly here in Lake Oswego so depending on which part you're in it could be a lot hillier than others there's some areas in Lake Oswego like the northwest area where it is a lot flatter or in first edition where it's a lot flatter there in the downtown Lake Oswego district but by and far most of Lake Oswego is pretty hilly so to me that always made a more interesting environment you know the roads are curved they go up they go they go down that might kind of sound silly when I'm saying it but you get a varied terrain when you're out and around here it's not just a straight shot grid they really follow the contours of the topography here so that varied topography here really is cool and adds to the beauty here so all the lots are not the same you know by far it's not a master built community every house for the most part is a little bit different so to me that also adds to the the beauty of the neighborhoods is all the homes not being exactly the same. Most of the lots here are gonna be a little bit bigger than your average Portland lot. So that also adds to the scenic beauty because you're just gonna have more areas of vegetation, more trees, just kinda of has a compounding effect. All right, everybody, that's my top reason for moving to Lake Oswego of Portland, Oregon. If you guys have any questions about moving here, go ahead and reach out. My information's right down there in the description area. I'd love to help you make that transition. Shoot me a text, give me a call, send me an email. Love to talk to you. And if you're getting value out of this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And you'll be notified next time I release another video so you can get to know what's going on right here in the local market. All right, everybody, see you on the next one.